Aljamain Sterling is back in the win column after his win against Calvin Kea at UFC 300s. And well, I tell you, boys, the GOAT is back. Aljamain Sterling absolutely mogged Calvin Kea. Literally didn't even look like he got touched in that fight. But nice, no, being serious, I'm so happy to see Aljo get back in the win column. In my prediction video, I pretty much nailed it to a T. I said that Aljo would grind them out, pause, to a decision. I did think Calvin Kea was going to have some success on the feet, maybe in round one. Um, but he literally shit him, like he shit his pants. And like I said in the video, people don't come back from it, like th the injuries that Calvin Kater sustained and look the same. And that was evident, you know, Calvin Kater kind of looked old. He didn't want to let go on his hands. And he pretty much just got absolutely mogged by Aljo, the goat Sterling on the, on the ground for three rounds. I just want to say that like, I feel bad for Aljo because I feel like out of everyone's stock on UFC 300, his was kind of on the rise after the Sean O'Malley fight. Everyone kind of felt bad for him because he got rushed into the fight and then he got knocked out and he's been kind of ever since the the yarn knee he's been trying to fucking mend his reputation while also playing the heel but i think how is aljermaine sterling meant to put on a masterful performance when calvin kaya isn't taking any risks he, like uh, calvin kaya was not taking any risks or allowing aljo to have any opportunities where he could have a big moment take his back and just choke him out i feel bad for aljo because how is he meant to do something against somebody who's not even fucking really trying he's not taking any risks but to talk about the positives of the fight Aljo looked pretty good on the feet. I know Calvin Cater literally wasn't throwing any shots at all, but he landed a few good spinning back fists, or not back fists, back, uh, like spinning elbows. A few good shots landed, you know. At, we didn't get that Kamaru Uzma moment where he sparks him out and like he just finds power going up the weight class. I didn't think Aljo would just get this mysterious fucking knockout power, but... He didn't look too bad on the feet. It looks like he trained hell hard to have a good stand-up battle with Calvin Cater. And Calvin Cater just didn't give it to him. So he just went straight to the floor. He looked really strong. Um, people who were saying that he wasn't going to get bullied or he was going to get bullied by the 145 pounders uh, were completely wrong. I said in my video that I don't think the size or the strength is going to play a huge factor into this fight. Because Aljo was so big at 135. I think if he just did a sm like even the smallest bit of bulking, he was going to be the right size for 145 and won't be absolutely out muscled and i was correct he was throwing calvin kate around like he just come up from 130 throwing him on his head which was illegal by the way if he landed on his neck then it would have been illegal but because he kind of rolled with it and he like landed on like the back on his back like top of his back near his neck it wasn't illegal and he had an absolutely stellar performance against calvin Kao, which it was exactly what he needed you know he doesn't give a fuck like realistically he got the win against a pretty dangerous guy who it was a bit of a toss-up in hindsight but looking back at it aljo's wrestling was just too much for calvin Kao, and i think calvin Kao is a bit old now and he didn't let his hands go i think the maybe the occasion got to him or you know he's just not the same after his injury He's been out for a quite a long time, so I think he kind of shit the bed, but I don't want to say that because anyone would shit the bed at UFC 300, one of the biggest cards ever, if not the biggest, but awesome win for Ajman Sterling. I think next they should match him up with Brian Ortega. I think that just makes the most sense. Either Brian Ortega or Movzai Evalev, but it's weird because Movzai Evalev and Brian Ortega were meant to go versus each other, but now I think Aljo should probably fight one of them. It's super interesting. I think he could be on the Sphere card, maybe, or... Yeah, probably the Sphere card, actually, yeah. So, put Aljo on the main card of the Sphere against Brian Ortega or Movzai Evalev, and then whoever wins that one gets a shot at the title, baby, let's go! Aljo's in the fucking title contention. I don't give a fuck. I was getting so much hate from my friends saying, Aljo, shit, Aljo's this. I'm riding with this guy to the end. And when he becomes 145 champion, don't even say that like I'm meat riding or like, you know, I was fucking, I was here. I was fucking here. You can look at the channel, but no, realistically, I don't think that's, that's actually going to happen. I made a whole video about that, but we'll go with Aljo versus Brian Ortega. That is an absolutely excellent matchup. I think the wrestling will be so high level. The stand-up will be absolutely horrendous. But, you know, I've just been working on the stand-up. So if he, if he can bridge that gap, it could give him a good edge against TC. But we have to wait for an announcement. So, boys, the Aljo fans, rise up. We're going all the way to 145 pound gold. I just want to fucking quickly say the disrespect how low Aljo was on that card. Absolutely disrespectful. Bro is literally in the pound for pound list. I'm pretty sure he's 15th on the pound for pound list. And he was not even the fucking... 
the prelim main event. I think Yuri Prohaska and Rakic should have been on the main card, and Bone Bone shouldn't have fucking been on UFC 300. Fuck that guy. He is literally a can. Not nah, joking, but the disrespect on even Cody Garbrandt figgy RIP Cody. He literally he didn't he didn't lose. He didn't lose. No one's seen it, so he didn't lose. But yeah, the disrespect on Aljo needs to stop, boys. It's insane. But thank you so much for watching this video, boys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Hit the red subscribe button. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out, fellas.